So that's what I'm going to be doing is a swipe. So I am going to, before I get to the painting, I'm going to mix up my cell activator. Um, it's a super easy recipe and um, I will be able to give you some substitutions as well as we go. Um, but I just wanted to, for those of you that are having a little bit of trouble, um, I just wanted to mix it up on camera so you can see. It, it really is, you know, an easy recipe for you. If you don't want to use um, silicone, this is um, pretty easy. All right, so I've got my vase that has all of my <laughs> measuring spoons and stuff in there. All right, so first off, I'm going to start with, I've got the Australian Floetrol. And what I'm going to do is just put, like, just teeny bit in the bottom just a little bit like you barely I mean I barely put any in there just enough to kind of coat the bottom all right um and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my one teaspoon and I'm going to put the paint in there and the paint that I'm using the black is golden um, carbon black that's the one that I use for my cell activator. You can also use Amsterdam. Um, I tend to use the lamp black is the one I like to use. You can really use the other, you know, any of the other ones if you uh, would like as well. I've, I've do, used different Amsterdam colors for my cell activator and I've gotten really good results with that. Um, so yeah, you can, you can use different, different colors. All right, so now I've got my one tablespoon and I am going to go ahead and measure one. It doesn't have to be perfect, but there's one. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start mixing that. I'm actually going to switch my stir stick and I'm going to use my honeycomb can see my honeycomb stir sticks. These are really, really cool um, design of stir stick. It really, really does help stir up the paint. So you can, they're, they're kind of bendy and they really, really do um, help get that paint all stirred up nice. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my, now that that's all stirred up and there's no chunks in there, I am going to take one, okay, two more. So I put one teaspoon of the golden and three tablespoons of you can see there's little cells in there. <laughs> Three tablespoons of the um, Australian Floetrol. Now, for those of you that can't get the Australian Floetrol, um, you can substitute American Floetrol. If you still are having trouble getting your cells, then you can also add some pre-stained wood conditioner. Now, the brand that I have is Verathane. Minwax makes one as well. Um, and you can just put in, in this recipe, I put about six to eight drops. You may have to adjust, um, you know, because everybody, um, everybody has a different recipe that works for them. Um, you might have to just tweak it and we can give you like the basics. So this is the consistency. It's pretty, pretty thin. Um, 
But there you go. Super, super easy. Again, if you are using one thing, if you're using, um, if you're using the American Floetrol, you will have to add some water because the Australian is thinner for sure. So a few drops of water, um, and you still you should be able to get, be good to go as long as you get it to that thinner consistency. You're good to go. All right, so. I'm going to get my canvas back on and we can go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so I've got my canvas back. Now I'm going to let you know what colors I'm using. I have this beautiful, beautiful turquoise shimmery. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. So what I did is I mixed um, two colors together. I've got um, both Pebeo Studio Acrylics. This one is um, iridescent blue green and I mixed that with the turquoise blue it is so so pretty all right and and then I've got this really really bright yellow here it is Martha Stewart glow in the dark yellow so we're gonna see what happens with that <laughs> um, then I also have this green and this is also a glow in the dark from Martha Stewart and it's green I think I said that it's green <laughs> um, I was going through some of my older paintings and I found a couple that I did years ago with glow in the dark paint and lo and behold when I was uh, rearranging my studio recently I found these um, so I thought I would try them again I did a practice piece um, it turned out really, really cool. It actually does glow. Can't really show you right now. Um, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to show you, um, later on, um, turn off the lights and show you later on. Um, but it really turned out super cool. I love the way the colors blended in that. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, get my canvas covered and I'm going to cover it with this really, really pretty blue iridescent blue turquoisey mm, uh, that color is just so so pretty all right so I guess I just got to get that covered and then we can start swiping okay so I've got the canvas covered and I have taken my lid and I poured some of my cell activator into the lid because sometimes when I swipe I like to dip my swipe tool into my cup I have a little bit more control that way. Um, so if you guys are having trouble, you can also try to swipe that way. All right, so I'm gonna start with the green. Actually first, I rearranged my studio, so everything is on the opposite side now. So that's probably why I'm feeling this is my first um, painting with my studio switched. I'm still waiting for some more furniture so I can finish it up, but. All right, so I'm going to start with the green. I mean, the green is really not my favorite color. Um, but I think when it blends with the yellow and the blue, it looks, it looks really pretty. All right. So I don't work with yellow a lot either. I like gold, but... And for those of you that are new to my channel, the, all of the stuff that you see me using, these cups, the swipe tools, these are all designed, created by me. They are available in my Etsy shop and the link is in the description. I love these cups. My husband made these up for me. Um, I wanted some smaller cups for things like this where I just need a little bit and these are one ounce cups they're perfect 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 um so let me know what you guys think would you guys be interested in that they're, those sizes are new i just he just made them just for me to try so let me know if you guys would be interested um in those smaller cups because i can get those in my etsy shop as well all right so i dipped you can see i dipped that in there and then you can see what i've got on there all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and start
right, everybody, here we go with the dried photos. And I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I did tilt a little bit off camera. Um, you can see that I've got a little bit of movement. The lines are curved a little bit. Um, it just was too straight for me, so I wanted to add a little bit to it. Uh, I do like the colors. That yellow is super, super pretty. Um, the cells are also pretty cool. And you guys are probably wondering, since it's glow-in-the-dark paint, how it dried. So here we go. You can see it looks awesome. My husband and I went into the garage in the pitch black to try to get these shots. We used a black light and I think it turned out super awesome. All right guys, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed already, I'm not sure why, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And one way to help out my channel is to share the video. So if you know anybody that may enjoy it, go ahead and share it with them. And another way to help me is to give that super thanks button some love. All right, guys, I really hope you have a great day. I have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy. And I will catch you in the next one.